Hey guys, it's Megan Lorson and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So today I'm going to be sharing and showing you guys what is in my wedding bag and what products and tools and how I package everything and just show you what I take with me when I travel to do weddings at all the venues. So before we get started, my bag is from Etsy and I will link this below. I'm going to try to find it. Hopefully. I would think it would still be up. I just bought it recently, like within the past couple months. So I'm assuming it's still on there. But I love this bag so much. It literally fits like everything in it. It's like the perfect size. Um, but it would also make a really cute like weekender bag or um, just like a travel bag. It's super cute. I love it. Um, it kind of looks like the Louis Vuitton pattern. It's not Louis Vuitton. Like I said, it's from Etsy, but I will link it for you guys. All right, so let's start going through this. I'll show you guys everything that I bring with me. And if you guys have watched some of my past videos, the past couple of videos, you guys might know I just had a baby. And um, I had shared in one of the previous videos that I was gonna be starting back up doing weddings again. So I'm no longer in the salon working right now, and um, I'm taking some time off, but by the end of May, I'm gonna start back doing weddings on the weekends. Mostly just Saturdays, so my husband will be able to watch the baby, um, but it's a great way to make an extra income, but not have to work a lot during the week, or just not have to work a lot, period. Most of my weddings start early in the morning, around between nine and 10, most of them. And then usually I'm done by noon or sometimes earlier, just depending on how large the wedding party is and things like that. Um, and right now I'm only traveling up to like an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes away. I'm not doing anything further than that. I used to travel like all over the place and anywhere. That was before I had the baby. Now I just wanna be closer to home. That way I can come right back to her. Um, but I used to travel hours away. I used to even do overnighters and like have the brides pay for my hotel stay. And we would do all kinds of things like that. Um, but I do only do hair. I do not do makeup for wedding parties. I only do bridal hair and hair for the wedding parties. So anyways, let's get into it. So. The first thing, I'll just pull everything out as it comes, as it's in here. Um, I have all my brushes. So I bring all kinds of different brushes for me. So I have, with me, um, I have round brushes just in case I have to do like a blowout on somebody. And these are the only two sizes that I bring because most of the time these sizes work on like everybody's hair. Um, I don't do a lot of blowouts, but occasionally I'll do them on like mother of the bride, mother of the groom. Um, or if anyone has like a really short style, short pixie cut, anything like that, those are a lot of times when I'll be doing like a blow up, but it's very rare. I mostly do long hair wedding styles. And then I also have this paddle brush. This is great for just brushing through the hair, detangling. So I carry the paddle brush. And then those are the only brushes that didn't fit in my bag, but I try to keep everything bagged up in a clear bag. That way I can see in it. Um, but it keeps everything organized and separated. And then also after I clean it, I just put it back in here so it keeps it clean. Um, but I have, I'll open this up and show you a couple brushes that I do have. So this brush is amazing. It's really expensive. It was like $30, but it is the Paul Mitchell Marula brush. And it is infused with marula oil and the bristles are like really soft. I don't, they're not boar bristle brushes. But I love this brush because it adds a lot of shine in the hair when you comb it out. So it's really good for those like glam waves. If any of, cause a lot of my brides love those like S waves, those glam waves. So this is really nice for combing out those curls after and giving that beautiful glam wave. So I always bring that brush with me. And then I have a detangler brush. This is like one of the wet brushes. Um, you can use it on dry hair too, but it's just a really good detangle brush. So I take that with me, and then I have another brush. This one's just a paddle brush. Also great for combing through hair, detangling, styling, pulling it up. And then, of course, I have a teasing brush. I bring that with me. I also have 
I don't know the technical term for these. Um, this one is also from Paul Mitchell. And it's got like the comb on it and then it's also got like this pick end so you can really like, you know, work with the style. So I have a couple of those in here. And then I also have like some clips in here and just other combs, like cutting combs. Um, and then I also have my magnetic bracelet, which I always, always use. And I believe this is the brand um, Pink Pewter. I think this is her bracelet, but, and I think I, you can just get it at Cosmoprof, but I do actually wear this all the time. So I put it on my wrist and then I'll stick a couple bobby pins to it. It's a magnetic, so you can stick bobby pins on it. So it's really easy to like grab them off as you're working on the hair. So I do end up putting this on and I love using my magnetic bracelet when I'm working on weddings. All right, so that is my brush bag. And then next I have this bag full of hair donuts. So I've got some light colored ones, I've got some brown ones, and I've even got some like super dark brown ones. They almost look black. And they're all different sizes. I have like some really large ones and then I have some like smaller ones. I love using these for like finer hair or anyone who wants like a really voluminous hairstyle to like fill the hair and make it look really voluminous. Um, sometimes I'll even cut these in half and just use half of one. It really depends on the person I'm working on, how much hair they have and the style they're going for. But I always come prepared with my donuts. All right, and then of course I bring my capes as well. I bring several capes with me. I have black ones and then I also have a white one. And I usually give this one to the bride because she's Gotta feel special on her wedding day. So I bring capes with me. And then this is how I organize all my bobby pins. I got one of these, I don't know if it's like an art organizer. I don't know, you can find them at a lot of like craft stores, craft organizer boxes. Um, but I have all kinds of different things. I have like my hair nets in here. I have like the big bobby pins, I have little bobby pins, and then I have them in all the different colors from like gold to black, brown. Then I have all these little elastic bands. I have clear ones, black ones. And then I also have like these flat clips right here. These are awesome. And these are by the brand Harry Josh. But they're like those little pin curl clips, but they have like this extra piece on them. But these are great, especially if you've done someone's hair and they're getting makeup done next. You can clip their hair gently out of the way and it won't leave a crease or anything in their hair. Or you can also use these for like pin curls. Um, and you can clip both sides up. Pin, uh, yeah, pin curls or like for those um, glam waves. You can use these in the hair. So sometimes I'll use them for that. But I also have a whole box of the these clips because that's what I use for the glam waves. I'll curl the hair and I'll pin them up and hold it. That is the key to getting those glam waves to stay is curling them, letting them set and cool, and then taking them all down. Otherwise, the whole style will just fall out if you don't let them set and cool. So anyways, I have those, and then I do have another smaller organizer with just more bobby pins, more clips, more elastic bands, all of that good stuff. And then I do carry shears with me only because there are cases where I've had to cut pieces of uh, bridesmaids hair or whatever they want pieces up front but they're like so long um so i do bring these just in case i have to like cut pieces up front um and these are the hattori hanzo shears oh my gosh they're so amazing you guys i love them um they are pricey but well worth it i've had these for years now um and then they also have a program where if you purchase their shears they come every month i think it is every two months or every three months, something like that. I can't remember exactly, it's horrible. But anyways, they come to our salon and they'll take our shears and they'll give us a pair to use while they take ours and they'll sharpen ours for them. But anyways, I always carry shears with me. So there's that. And then 
let I guess we'll get into products. So I have lots of products that I like to use. Mostly all of them are Paul Mitchell products. So this one right here is the Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Worked Up Hairspray. I love using this hairspray as I'm creating the updo and as I'm doing it because um, you really don't want something super sticky or hard or anything like that as you're creating the style because what it does is it makes the hair sticky, it can cause a lot of frizz, it can be too much so you don't want to work with something really strong. You want to work with like a workable hairspray so I love using the flexible style worked up hairspray as I'm creating the updos. So there's that, and then I also have the Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Velvet Cream. This is great for smoothing and defining pieces um, as I'm creating a style, so I carry that with me too. And then I also have the Neuro Style Finish, which is also a Paul Mitchell product, but this is a great finishing spray. I like using this after creating the whole look or the whole style, whole updo, whatever it is and then finishing them off with this so it holds all day for them. And then I also have Super Skinny Serum. Sometimes if someone's hair is very unruly or frizzy, um, or I just need a little bit more shine in the hair, more smoothness, I'll put a little bit of this in before I start creating their style, um, and before I use heat on their hair, anything like that. So there's that. And then one of my all-time absolute favorites products for wedding parties, brides, styles, for anything is Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. You guys, this is the stuff. So it's heat protectant, but it also acts a little bit like a hairspray or a working spray as well. So this is one of the best products to spray on the hair before you use heat, um, especially to help hold their styles. If they have finer hair, or if they are getting those glam waves, this is a great product to set the hair with, um, like spray it in before, because it's giving them the heat protection, but it's also giving them hold as well. And then I'll even go in and spray this on their hair after all their curls are up in those little clips, and I'll spray it on there. And it is so amazing because you can comb through it, but it's also um, frizz and humidity resistant. Um, or humidity resistant. So when they go outside and they have these outside weddings, um, it's gonna really help, if it, especially if it's humid out there, to help hold their style and help prevent it from getting frizzy. I just, ugh, such a good product. Okay, and then I also have Paul Mitchell Stay Strong. I don't use this a lot for weddings. It's a little bit more on the heavier, stickier side. Um, I guess just more on the heavy side. So I don't particularly like to use this for um, styles. Sometimes I'll just finish off an updo with it, just depends. Um, but I always just keep it with me just in case. It really just depends on the hair texture too. All right, and then I also have the Awapui Shine Spray from Paul Mitchell as well. This is so good too, you guys. This is a really good product. I love using this after creating a style and just lightly spray it on the hair and it just adds such a beautiful shine to the hair but it also conditions their hair as it sits on there as well so that that can't hurt either all right and then as i'm creating the updos i have all the texture sprays the volume sprays um all the good stuff so i use a couple different ones just depending on the hair i'm working with so i have the big sexy hair play powder and this one just kind of you I'll show you what it looks like. Ooh, it's got like this little powdery, you guys can probably see it coming out, but this one you just kind of sprinkle on the hair, but it gives them a little bit of um, texture and grip in their hair. Um, it's great for creating volume, helping the volume and the style hold as you're creating it. Um, also products that are similar to this is the Puff Me Powder and then also Paul Mitchell's Invisible Wear Pump Me Up. These are all super great and these two, the pink and the white one, they have a pump, so you just pump it on there. But they're all like powders that add a little bit of texture, a little bit of grip, um, help hold the style, give it more volume, body. So I use those as well. And then I do have a pack of Clorox disinfecting wipes. I always carry these with me this, these days um, just to wipe down things, wipe down my tools, brushes, whatever I need them for. Um, so I have those in there. 
And then I have this other bag with just like elastics. These have like bigger elastics. These are great for people with really thick hair. It's typically what I end up using them on. And then the last thing is my tools. So the tools that I always carry with me to the weddings when I do them is my blow dryer. I always tell everyone to come with dry hair, clean hair, have it washed the day before. Um, but occasionally have people show up with like damp hair and you can't have any kind of dampness or wetness in the hair at all or it just it doesn't their styles won't hold um, but also if I'm doing a blot on somebody like the mother of the groom or any bridesmaids that have really short hair I have my blow dryer um, and I always use the concentrator part on it um, it just helps the hair to dry faster but it also really concentrates the air so I can get a really smooth shiny blowout and then this is the Paul Mitchell Neuro Grip um, Blow Dryer, and I love this. I've been using this one for years, and I love how it doesn't have a handle. And no, it doesn't get hot. Everyone's like, doesn't it get hot? It doesn't. It's just so comfortable to hold it. It's really lightweight. Um, and of course, you got your cool setting, the hot setting, and then you can do low, medium, or high. I just love this blow dryer. It's, it's so good. And then I also have my one inch Paul Mitchell gold curling iron. This is, I love these curling irons. They're just so good. Um, they also have it in like a one and a half, two inches, 1.75 inches, one and a quarter inches. Um, they have like four sizes, I think. This is the one inch. I only carry the one inch with me because I can create just about any style or any look with a one inch curling iron. And then I also have my smoothing iron or my straightener. And this is the Paul Mitchell Neuro straightener. It is so good, you guys. I love this. Um, it's great for smoothing the hair, but I'll also I can get curls with this as well. So occasionally I will curl the hair. And then it's got the titanium plates. And then it's like touch screen kind of. So like inside... <clears throat> is where when you plug it in you can just run your finger across and it'll light up like these blue lights and you just tap it to turn it on and adjust the heat setting but I love that smoothing iron and then also I do bring a crimping iron with me as well and this one is the Sam Via crimping iron you guys can see the plates this is super awesome and super great for anyone with finer texture hair I'm um, just crimping it can add so much texture and body to their hair and you really don't necessarily see um, you don't really see the crimping in their hair when the style is complete you can even go in like the middle of the style and just add some crimping underneath the hair or in the middle of the hair and it just adds that puffiness that texture grip volume and it even can create enough texture to really help create a nice base for your up juice and just help the overall style hold even better for people with finer, slipperier hair textures. And then the last thing I bring with me is a power strip because a lot of times I'm doing hair in like hotels or just the venues don't have a lot of plug spaces and things like that. So I can just plug this into the wall and then I have like a bunch of different outlets to plug all my tools in if I need it. So I always bring that with me. And then I always bring a phone charger with me too, which I don't have that because sometimes I'm traveling really far, but I also want to make sure that my phone stays charged through the whole thing. That way I can get like after pictures as well. And I think that is pretty much, I think that's pretty much everything I bring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other video requests, let me know down below. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every single week and I love making videos for you. So you guys can also find me on Instagram at Megan.Lorson. And speaking of video suggestions, I wanna know, would you guys be interested in like a clothing, try on clothing haul? I just did like a big order on Shein and I've ordered a few more clothing pieces from different places that are super trendy and um, I'll be wearing them for like the weddings that I'm going to but I just needed to like update my wardrobe because it had been like so long and I just had a baby so I like cleaned up my whole closet got rid of like so much stuff that I literally had for years and years and years and got like all new pieces to wear that are trendy 
and really in style. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I'd love to make that video for you guys if it's something for you, that you wanna see. If you want me to strictly stick to hair, then let me know, just strictly stick to hair. Just tell me in the comments. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. All right, I will see you in the next one.